friends, it's your art teacher, Miss Barnett. And in this week's lesson called Surprising Images, we've learned a lot of new things. So before we get started in the demonstration, I'm going to review them really quickly. So remember that we learned about the idea of photo montage. A photo montage is a picture that uses photographs instead of various materials that we've cut and pasted onto our paper to create an interesting image. Um, we also talked about themes and artwork. A theme is a broad idea or message conveyed through your image. So in this example that we looked at in one of our videos called The Lonely Metropolitan, the theme is seen because the eyes are suggesting that we're looking and being looked at. So that's the theme of this picture. We also learned about an idea called center of interest or focal point. Um, in this artwork, the center of interest is the eyes and the hands because they are in the center of the artwork. And remember the in one of our previous videos talking about how to create focal points, we have this idea of convergence. So everything is coming towards the middle. There's also some contrast here between the darkness of the hands and the contrast of the light and the darks here especially with the background being kind of a gray. So the artist here used two different techniques to create a center of interest or a focal point. So those are two things that I'm expecting you to do today. I'm expecting you to pick a theme and you don't have to just stick to the themes that we talked about in the Smithsonian um, Art Institute uh, website. You could make up your own theme. So some different ideas for themes. I remember a universal idea love, family, education, pride. Um, the ideas are really endless. So think about that and make sure that you share your theme with me so I can make the connection to your image. You're also going to need to create a focal point today in your photo montage. Um, so once you've thought about those things and brainstormed some ideas of how to get there, you're gonna need some materials to complete this project today. You'll you will need a piece of paper. I've got an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper here, but you can use any size paper that you have. For my photograph uh, resources, I'm going to be using newspapers and magazines. Um, so make sure you gather those things. They're gonna be very helpful for you today. You're also going to need, like any with any collage project, some scissors and some glue. So go ahead and gather your materials and we'll get started. All right, guys, I'm going to take a couple of minutes and go through my resources, maybe some more that I might find, and go ahead and start cutting out images, and you can do the same, and we'll meet back here when I'm finished with that. All right, kids, so I have selected and cut out several images that are related to one another in some way and have a thematic connection. All of these images um, have the color brown. And then they also were very uh, rich. They reminded me of rich things. So I've included like rich desserts, jewelry, these beautiful brown hands that match with all of these beautiful gems. So we have a theme going here, basically rich, chocolatey richness. So now that we've cut out all of our images, we get to move them around and explore different arrangements. It's kind of like putting together a, pu uh, a jigsaw puzzle, which is really fun. Remember, we want to select one striking image to create our center of interest. So one thing that's different or um, basically that's different than the rest of the images. So I'm going to play around with arranging and you can watch me do that. And then once I've picked an arrangement that I like, I'm going to start gluing them down. Here we go. All right, guys, I think I like this composition. I've decided to make the hands my area of, or center of interest, my focal point. I put them towards the center and it's different than everything else in my picture. So now I'm gonna start gluing. Here we go. So guys, I just had an accident. I pulled off one of the fingers on my hands. I'm gonna show you how to fix something like that. So really quickly, let me go around this part two before I go any further. 
So if an accident like this happens, don't worry about it. We're using glue, everything is fixable. So we're gonna flip this guy over. I kind of had it going like this where it was kind of caressing this guy. Smooth that part down. Oh, forgot to put glue here. I'm holding things down and I'm counting to 10 as I'm working. Oops. Also, good thing about using a glue stick, if you forget a piece like I did right here, it's pretty easy just to lift things up and add it. you get all the edges and try to get all the bubbles out between the paper and your collage paper. Now I'm going to take this finger that fell off and I'm going to kind of line it back up with this. There we go. Now we can't tell that it tore. Awesome. Let's keep working. All right, kiddos, here is my completed surprising image photo collage project. My theme is uh, rich chocolate and I have created a center of interest with these hands because it's different than all the all the chocolate and desserts that are on the page. I hope you have just as much fun exploring photo montage theme and uh, areas of interest or focal point like I did today. And I can't wait to see what you guys make. I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.